<laughs> What's up guys, Lou here, and I've got an exciting announcement to make. You may recall a couple videos ago. You may recall a video, a video from long ago. We talked about the ultimate workstation PC that we're gonna be building here in the office to replace our aging Mac Pro as our main studio system. That's obviously a Windows machine, so I wanted to show the Mac users some love by throwing together a crazily upgraded MacBook Pro. Now you might be thinking, MacBook Pros aren't all that upgradable, especially the Retina models, and you're correct. The thing is, the slightly older style, design style, the unibody style, is actually quite upgradable. You can replace the drives on the inside, you can also replace the memory, as I've done in the past with the upgrades I've done to my current MacBook Pro. This time, we're gonna take it a step further. I've got a bunch of components here from Corsair, including two of these bad boys. Yes, those are almost 500 gig SSDs. So why would I have two? Because I'm gonna replace the optical drive and get an SSD RAID of almost a terabyte inside of this system. I've also got some RAM here, two separate 16 gig kits. One of them is the Vengeance, and the other one is Mac specific. We're gonna try each one of these and figure out which gets better performance and which one works better so that you guys know for your own purposes. But the main thing here is to put together possibly the fastest MacBook Pro, the fastest MacBook Pro ever configured. So I'll be going to the Apple Store, picking up the top spec unibody model MacBook Pro, which is the old, slightly older design for those of you that, that are unfamiliar with it. I've been saying for a while, that that is my favorite design for a couple of reasons, because of course it has a little bit of user configuration available to you. So this is gonna be part of a series. We're gonna to put together a couple of different videos to go along the process from the MacBook Pro unboxing to the actual surgery video in which I show you how to install this kind of hardware on the inside of this particular model MacBook Pro. And then the last video, I'll be showing you how it all works and what kind of performance improvements you can see. So we're gonna call it the Super MacBook Pro Project and I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a thumbs up down below if you're excited. I'm actually gonna go and buy this MacBook Pro right now. So expect updates shortly. This, this project will probably beat the other one only because we're waiting on a couple of specific components. And by the other one, I mean the ultimate workstation. Nonetheless, both projects are gonna be happening simultaneously. So stick around, stay tuned to the channel to catch it all. Thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.